Hello and welcome to the Peace Security Channel once again. Today we'll be testing IOBit Malware Fighter Free. And I've previously tested this product and it didn't do anything, so I'm a bit skeptical on this one. I don't know even if it's going to work. But anyway, I'll just be using the same samples I used uh, yesterday, the ones I used to test Afira, AVG, and all that stuff. So they're pretty old and uh, it should be easy pickings for any useful working anti-malware product. I don't know if this works, but if it does, it should do well. Now, they really advertise this thing like shit. I mean, uh, they already, like, just when you install it, they have an offer for you and they want you to buy their pro product. And they claim to be the world's leading anti-malware tool. Now, what on earth does that mean? And uh, they do have a really beautiful user interface. Um, it wouldn't be fair to say that the user interface is bad. It's really neat, and I really like the way it's laid out and how you get the details, the animations. They're really beautiful. And uh, these side, you know, this uh, system of uh, laying the user interface, it's, it's really nice, really. I mean, the overviews and everything, um, the colors, everything looks really nice and well. I mean, so it's uh, their marketing is really good, and uh, they have just two basic protect options. You can enable or disable their advanced heuristics, and uh, you can set the protect level to recommend it or high. And I'm going to set it to high because I want to give it its best ever chance of doing anything. And as far as scan settings go, you do have some settings. There's not really much to mess around with here. And you do have your guards. You've got startup guard, browser guard, that's a lot of guards. Ad blocker, cookie guard, everything pretty much. They don't give you their process guard or USB guard or malicious action guard or system reinforce. I don't know what that means, but they have a lot of features in their pro version that they want you to pay for. So since they're asking you to pay for um, this product and uh, that too, okay, only $20. One year, one PC. So they're charging you yearly for this. And so let's find out how good they are. So I've basically just got the real-time protection turned on and we will just grab our malware samples. Keep in mind these are fairly old. I just dragged and dropped this thing here. And uh, right now we've just got one. I'm sorry, I just forgot to get the actual ones. Just, uh, I'll be back in a moment. Sorry everyone, those were the samples that were actually missed by MCSoft, so <laughs> I had done a test off the video. But anyway, uh, I've got these uh, 165 samples that we used to test out uh, Tyranium. And I'm just uh, copy pasting this and let's see how many it catches. Okay, it detected something. That's good. We will block this action, I guess. Alright, block. So I'll just do a context menu scan of these samples to make it easier for IOBit. Since they do have such a beautiful user interface, why not use it? So I'll just uh, go in here, do a custom scan. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a desktop over here. I'll have to... Can we do a right click? Okay, we can do a right click scan. That's much easier. So let's go ahead and see how many it catches. All right, scan's finished. That's real quick. I didn't even have to pause the video. So we've got seven uh, threats, and we'll just repair everything. Everything's quarantined, job's done, great. And now we can finally open this thing up. I don't know what's, uh, what it's detecting, because it says everything else is clean. I've already done a scan. Let's try it again. Great. No threats found. Just 151 items. I mean, that's not a lot, is it? I mean, 151 are very few threats. 
It's fine if you miss 151 items. So here you go, guys. That's the detection rate for you <laughs> people. I'll just make it easier. Okay. Uh -huh. So 8.48%. Amazing detection rate. Phenomenal. I mean, what else should I say? They're basically selling you this product, and uh, this is the detection rate they manage. This is the detection rate managed by the world's leading anti-malware tool. Okay, uh, let's now let's not rush things, guys. Let's just run some of these files and see what it can do. Of course, it must have something to protect us. After all, it's uh, the world's leading anti-malware tool, right? Okay, great. It's the same file, so I didn't run it. Wow, I'm seeing lots of alerts from IOBit. I don't know, man. I mean, they must be invisible. They must have some invisible alert protection. Otherwise, I mean, how is this possible? This world's best anti-malware tool. It can't be letting these things pass, can it? Oh, shit. Yeah, you, you can see. That was probably IOBit deleting these files. Yeah, yeah, very much. Malware doesn't delete itself. IOBit deletes it. Yeah, I'm protected, hell yeah. Okay, that's that's enough. Sorry for all the uh sarcasm guys, uh but this is just absolutely I I don't know, I mean this is terrible. You've got a product, They're, they've been developing it for years, and uh, this is what it turns out to be, an absolute waste. I mean, this is not even qualified to be, even be a free anti-malware product, let alone paid. And if you look at it, uh, you know, they really advertise the hell out of this thing, and they've made a new version. I don't know for what reason. This product has been out for a long time, and I'm really fed up of testing this. I mean, this thing just sits in your RAM and almost does nothing. Okay, it did catch seven or eight files, but those samples were really old. Any, even half-decent AV would catch more than like 95% of those. I can guarantee that. Even Windows Defender would catch probably 98% or something like that. And um, I don't know what this thing is for. Why would anybody buy it? If you've bought it, all my sympathies with you. I mean... I'm really sorry for you if you've bought this product. It is an absolute waste of time and money and there is no reason for anyone to use this on their computer. Not the free one, not the paid one. No version of this is useful. I mean, Arbit is a fairly big company. They've got lots of products. I don't know what they're doing with this one. I mean, at this point, uh, I'm sorry to say, but it almost feels like a scam to sell out a product that is this bad. And if you look at it, I mean, the claim to be world's leading anti-malware tool and crap, I mean, I, I don't know. This is just absolute crap. At least be humble if you're selling out a product that doesn't do much at all. I don't know what their signatures uh, do, their heuristics. They've got lots of stuff. And uh, they, all these features are just for show-off. They're just doing marketing. They've got a beautiful user interface to make give you this false sense of security. But this product actually does nothing at all for you. And uh, let's take a look at some other reviews, because after all, I might be lying. So they themselves have put a logo of PC Magazine here, but they didn't actually show you <clears throat> the review or the ratings they got from PC Magazine. So let's just go to PCMag.com and check out their review. Look at that. Editors rating dismal, and they've proudly put up the PC Mag logo to show as if they're PC Mag certified. And let's just take a look at this thing, huh? Okay. Uh, as you can see, the malware is making it really difficult for me to even use the browser. Okay, pro, and the only pro is attractive user interface, as we just saw, and cons pretty much everything. And so the bottom line is there is absolutely no reason to buy or even try IOBit Malware Fighter 2. It doesn't function as an antivirus and doesn't effectively fight malware. In testing, it reported seven thoroughly infested systems as perfectly clean. Avoid it. 
I perfectly, I mean, I couldn't agree more with this bottom line, and that is my bottom line as well. I'm not going to test any, any of these products in the future unless they really come up with an improvement and I'm and I see some other review saying that this product is good. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time, guys. Just stay away from this thing. It's good fun, but it doesn't do any work, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I use sarcasm and everything to lighten this up, but you know it's still very disappointing. So I'm planning to test more newer products, um, probably better than this one. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm hoping to see some new products emerge, like we did see Tyranium, it did pretty well in the last test, and I do want to see more new products doing well, and I don't want disappointments like this. So let's see what we get, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next Peace Security Channel review.